Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we finished up the fuel distribution system for Gridania and Abilene. And also uh, set up a, a method for distributing bricks into Rabinaster, which is where we're at right now. So yeah, we've got the... You know, small fuel train, moving fuel from there to there, when fuel actually does get delivered. And we have trucks delivering fuel into Gradania. And then we're moving bricks from here to there by truck. Loading them on the this train and then bringing those trucks or that those bricks down here which have any of them made it through yet I don't see them and I don't see any on this train yet but it's just probably a matter of time letting the uh, letting the trucks kind of work their way through we're getting a bit of a traffic jam right about here I uh, might want a, uh, a roundabout there. Because this backup is uh, becoming rather substantial. Alright, fine. Might as well do it while I'm looking at it. Okay, so I'm gonna want three lanes, probably a little bit larger radius. That ought to do. I'll wait for the auto save. Get all those guys connected in. And that ought to take care of that. A little bit of traffic problem. Hopefully. We'll see. Because I don't want trucks sitting in traffic a mile away from where they need to be. Because so you've got the bricks. You've got nothing. So hopefully the roundabout will keep the traffic flowing. All right. Now, what we need to do next is we need to start getting stuff into Ironforge, particularly tools. And I was looking at this tools factory and, you know, like that sawmill and, and this forest and these forests, two of them, for that purpose. But I reevaluated off screen and have decided on a different course of action. Uh, this tools factory, I think, is going to be the better option. We have a forest here, and we have a sawmill there. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. What I think I'm actually going to do with this tools factory is I'm going to use that tools factory to supply tools to Einkrad over there. Because I think this is the only... It's the only... Because uh, Lorien is getting tools from... This tools factory? Yeah, that tools factory. This is the tools factory we're going to be using. Um... I think that that is well, Arkham wants tools. We'll have to see because New Londo also wants tools down there. Um, I'm 
I'm gonna be flying tools around. My plan is to use air freight to move those tools around. Um, I have to see how that's all gonna work out. All right, but for now, we're gonna be using that factory to get tools, at the very least, into Iron Forge. So we're gonna need to set up a connection that will bring logs from that forest to that sawmill. And then bring the planks from that sawmill to that factory. So here's what my plan is. My plan is to connect a station here that will tie into this this line here and then run a connection because this line runs through to there as part of the fuel the fuel transport there and then run a branch off of here to connect to there and then run the train into this station here. And then we'll probably just put a truck stop around here, run trucks from there to there, and that ought to work. So, that's the initial plan. And then once we get the planks back, the planks will then be able to hop on this train and ride their way back to there. I probably want to put an additional stake car on that train. That's fine. At least for the moment, it's possible. Maybe not optimal, but it's possible at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and get to work on that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a terminal cargo station. High speed. No electric on this line, because I have an idea of what I want to use on this line. All right, so what I wanna do is kinda aim that like right about, right about there. That's going to have to come downhill quite a bit before it's going to get where it needs to be. Alright, well that's alright. No, 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 no. No electric, please. Thank you. not going to like that. It's fine with that. Even still, that's not great. Um, I mean construction not possible. Oh, there we go. Weird. All right, I want to make sure that we can get good speeds out of this. So at least 70. There we go. I'm going to make that as gentle a transition as I can. Alright, and then 
And you're gonna slide in there. Let me see how it looks. Looks good. Looks good. You're gonna need a signal there. I don't know if I necessarily want a signal here. I really need a signal there. I'd much rather have that signal there. Right, you're going to need one here. That ought to do. Okay. So then we're on to here. And then what I want to do is I want to take off of this and slide onto that. Without looking too terrible while it's doing it. Eh. kind of uh, speeds are we looking at? Uh, it drops pretty good. Uh, 59. Well, I think we'll have to deal with it. Uh, wait for the autosave. There we go. Okay. So then you're going to slide in, come on, come on, you're going to slide in. Or what you're going to do is you're going to run at least to the point where we're past that signal. Okay. And then we're going to merge in. I think it's probably the best I can do. Alright, how do I want to signal this? Probably want to signal there. Right. And you're going to want to signal there. I'll need a couple here and here. Let's see, we've already got one there. Yeah, need one there. All right, so that should work. So first thing I actually wanna do is get this truck line set up. Uh, we'll make it 30 meters so we can get the longer trucks in there. Kind of stinks that it's going to be such a short line, but um, there really isn't going to be any way to get that in catchment of that station. So, it is what it is. 
Uh, road freight. This is going to be Fangorn. Lumber. Lumber. Fangorn lumber. That ought to do. Okay. Let's get... Um, We're going to need some trucks with side stakes. There you go. 40 ton truck with side stakes. Get four of those. There we are. All right. Now, next is the line that runs from here. To there. Looks good. Uh, does it look good? It does, in fact, look good. All right. So this is going to be train freight. Uh, Fanghorn logging. Uh... That should be an end. There you go. And I can use this depot to throw a train on there. And what we're going to do, as soon as it loads in, is we're going to put a big boy on this line. Because in terms of cost and power, it's comparable to the electric that I would use. And so that's what we're going to use. Oh, yeah. I did install that mod. The 4888884 quintuplex. 13,000 horsepower. 179,000 foot-pounds of tractive effort. We're not using that one here. I, I need to use that somewhere, but uh, big boy is going to be fine here. And for cargo, uh, big boy does what? 80 some? Yeah. Okay. 81. So the faster flat cars will be fine. And we're going to want like 180 capacity. That should do. Buy it. Throw it on the Fangorn logging line. There we go. So there's the big boy. Okay, so... We are going to be able to move some logs or planks from here to there with the trains we have. So I don't need to modify those trains right now. I'm going to want to modify them at some point. But you are more than capable of doing that job, at least to some extent. Alright. So, we're going to make tools. Tools are going to get dumped here. Well, they can be dumped here. And then I have... A train. The Crater Stone Train. Which is going to need to be modified. Manage the vehicle. This is really going to need to be a much bigger train. 
GEC 48Ws. Alright. What if I want the GEA 6000 CWs instead? Go with the, uh, yeah, this one. Let's throw. Let's see, what's your capacity at eight hoppers? Hundred and fifty two capacity. Uh, let's see. Let's bump that up to one hundred and seventy one capacity. I'm going to throw on one, two, three, four, five of those and then we're going to need box cars which we can go with this use that box car I'll transport a 33 tools all right replace that train Making a healthy profit. Now the question is going to be will it fit past the points over here? And will it fit on the other end of the station as well? Let's we'll wait for the autosave. Because if it doesn't make it through the points here, then uh, I'm going to have to move the diamond back. And it doesn't make it all the way through. Alright, good. Actually, we have room to spare. So I could throw another two boxcars on there, at least. And still be fine on this end anyway. I'll have to give it a good look when uh, it comes through to here because I don't, I don't think it's gonna make it all the way through there. I'm gonna have to, uh, I have to back that up. Which is fine. Now I need to, mm, well. I'll keep it electrified because it currently is, just for consistency. All right, so now what we're going to need is a road. From here into Iron Forge. This road is going to get heavily trafficked. I guarantee it. And then we're going to need a place to deliver the tools. Where are we going to deliver the tools? I don't want to do the deliveries on the tram line. So. We'll deliver the tools there.
Oh, hold on. I need to add a... I need to add... Cargo platform there. Okay, so we have an extra terminal. Okay. Now we want to add the new line. There we are. And then you deliver there. And then this is going to be road freight. Um, Iron Forge. Uh, freight. I'll call it Freight 1, because I anticipate we'll probably have a 2. And then we're going to throw... a couple of trucks on there. So you're carrying bricks, you're carrying food, and you are carrying more bricks. Have any bricks made their way to Rabinaster yet? Well, not that I can tell. Well, there are some bricks. Yeah, some have made it through. So we just need a truck to pick them up. All right. Well, that's good. Okay, here comes a train. Let's make sure that I back that up far enough. Excellent. Yeah, because this, uh, this factory is just pumping out bricks like crazy. Yeah. Increasing the size of this train is going to significantly increase the profitability of that line. Alright, but I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and end the episode here. The next project is going to be setting up, I think, that tools factory? Yeah, with uh, forest, forest, sawmill, tools factory, getting in a freight airport. And then flying the tools into Einkrad, I think. Um, yeah, because getting machines up and running here is going to be a little bit more complicated. We have an iron ore mine. I'm going to need a coal mine somewhere. There's one there. Now, there's another iron ore. There's got to be another coal mine kicking around here somewhere. Now i got to find a steel mill to make some steel. And uh, then find a machines factory somewhere to make machines. All right, well, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. But uh, we will work on that in the coming episodes. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.